seed is the word of God, oh, oh yeah, and the sower is the preacher and the teacher. He comes to sow the word of God in your life every day. Thank you. 
church seat. They had something to say about everything. They said the preacher was not anointed. They said he didn't know the word and his messages did not make sense. They criticized him throughout the preaching. That's when I knew the seed had fallen among the thorns. Hello, how are you? Happy Sunday today. And I'm um, welcoming everyone. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord open doors of prosperity, doors of wisdom, doors of understanding. And the Spirit of the Lord bless, um, walk around us in Jesus' name. As we do the work of God, may the Spirit of the Lord continue to use us more and continue to bring people into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you had a fantastic time in church today. Amen. Before we do anything, let us reference to our Almighty God, the greater of the universe, the King of kings. We worship you. We thank you. We adore you. We appreciate you for all you are doing for us, for all the marvelous things you are doing on the surface of the earth. Lord, we appreciate you for making us to enter into this beautiful month, this awesome month, this marvelous month. We appreciate you. We want to thank you for this show that you have doing great and mighty things. And we also thank you, Lord, for all the viewers who are watching, that they also, they are also blessed each week. We thank you, Lord, that as we tread upon the surface of the earth, you continue to be our shield, and our buckler in Jesus name amen today we ask O oh Lord for wisdom knowledge and understanding of his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen if today is your first time on this platform you are very much welcome in this platform we talk about God's words we share about Bible stories and we talk and encourage each other. You are welcome and we share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am live here on Save Omega Media on Facebook and um, it, we are also on uh, YouTube as well. If you want to watch us on YouTube, yes you can watch us on YouTube. But you can also click on the red button on the YouTube uh, channel so that you can see many more videos that we have already uploaded and the one that is still coming up that we are still going to upload that will bless and enrich you and your family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Also, friends, I want to tell you about um, Save Omega Media. Save Omega Media can help you to carry out your events in all sorts of form. Your celebrations, your parties, your, your workshop, or whatever sorts of events that you have got at your environment. And you want a coverage, just look under the button, uh, under the screen, you will find them Save Omega Media's number. And uh, I'm sure you'll get the best service for your events. In Jesus name amen may the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus name amen today we've got an another exciting story and I'm so excited about today's story today's story is talking about the sower 
he's talking about the sower is talking about the sower and may you enjoy as we read on amen one day jesus taught by the lake side a lot of people gathered to hear him the crowd became too large what will jesus do seeing a boat nearby jesus climbed aboard now you could see the people and they could see and hear him clearly jesus began to tell parables stories about ordinary things that thought people that taught people about god and he said a story about a farmer a farmer who scattered seeds on his field Jesus story was like a Jesus story was like a picture with a word instead of instead of drawings people could picture the farmer walking they had seen it many many times some of the scattered seeds laid on the footpath squashed beds quickly scrubbed up to combo on it. Some seed landed on a stony part of the field. They quickly grew into speedily spawning plants. The hot sun soon scribbled them up because they could not root in a soiled ground. Other seed has rooted among thorns it didn't produce grains the thorns crowded around the young plants blocking out the needed sun as the sun shines and rain the rest of the seed fell on good ground at times as time passes the shoot became healthy plants bearing plenty of new grains the farmer must have been very happy at the end of jesus parables and the end of jesus story the disciple came to jesus why did you always teach us in parables they asked jesus jesus said parables help people understand about god if they really love him People who don't love God cannot understand parables. Jesus explained the parable. He said, "The seed is God's. Is the seed is God's word. Seeds on the footpath is like somebody hearing but not understanding God's words. If the person can always hear the word of God." but he doesn't understand God's word. Satan make them forget what God said. Some people quickly receive God's word. They are like the seed on a stunning soil. But as, as soon as somebody mock them or make things difficult because they love God, a sad thing happens. These same people who joyfully started to follow Jesus turn away and stop obeying God's words. They don't want to pay the price of following God. How sad that they could, how sad that was. That they should want to please friends rather than pleasing their God. The tongues in the parables are like, like, worldly wor worries and the love for money that fueled some people's life they are so busy trying to get more money and other things that they leave god out of their lives but the seeds that fell on the good soil and gave a good harvest is like the word of god entering your heart and changing your life and transforming your life 
into God's given plan. These people serve God and honor God with their whole heart, with their whole body, and with their whole spirit. The crowd did not want to leave. Many wanted to follow God and please Him. Jesus' parable helped them to understand how to obey God. And this is the parable of Jesus Christ. Can we take a look to look at this particular video clip? And I pray may you be blessed. I will be back after the video. I will tell you another parable once we fix up our tents. Children, I will tell you the story of the sower and the seed today. I think by the time we reach Hungary, I will finish telling you all the parables of Jesus. Wow, that's great. Wow, that means you will be with us when we cross the border. Yes, I will stay with you, children. One day, Jesus was teaching to a large crowd. Listen, he said to them. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, but soon the birds came and ate the seeds on the path. Other seeds fell on a rocky ground, where there wasn't much soil. They sprang up quickly, but they didn't have much roots because there wasn't enough soil. And when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away in the heat. Some seeds fell among thorny bushes nearby. When the seeds sprouted and started to grow, the thorns grew over them and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and it brought forth grain. Some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Why are you silent, children? Didn't you understand the story? No, no Uncle Yesh. Don't worry. The disciples also didn't understand it. Later, Jesus explained it to them. What is important is that you told me the truth that you didn't understand. Sometimes, we simply nod our heads. Please, please explain it to us, uncle. The seed is the word of God. Here, Jesus is speaking about the four types of mindsets who listen or read his holy word. The first types are like the seed which has fallen on the path. These are people who hear the word but don't understand it. So the devil immediately comes and takes it away. Oh, that's like me. <laughs> the second type are like the seed sown on rocky ground. This is the one who hears the God's word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but bears only for a while. And the moment when a trouble arises, that person immediately forgets everything about the God's word. That is like me. The third type are like the seed sown amongst thorns. They hear the word and try to keep it. But the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word and it yields nothing. God have mercy on me. That sounds like me. Don't worry, Joshua, Esther, and John. The very fact that you see yourselves in this parable shows that you wish to change. After all, even thorny and rocky land can be put fertile by digging out the rocks and cutting the thorns. Thank you, yes. Now listen to the full type who are like the seed which fell on good soil. These are people who hear understand and accept the word of God and bear fruit in one case 30 in another 60 and in another 100 wow how I wish to be like the fourth day we do well the choice lies with you and me I hope you enjoy that clip and I, I hope you're gonna make a change or, uh, of uh, attitude towards your Christian life 
In Matthew 13, verse 1 to 23, we can see this, um, the story of the parable of the sower. And in so doing, I hope you are going to be blessed. I want to give you an advice today. The advice is, the rainfall of the word of God on your spirit begin to, begins a new thing in your life. When God's reign upon you, his spirit, people begin to question what has happened to you. People begin to ask you what, what event has occurred in your life. What exactly has happened to you and your life transformed for the better. Amen. What is our assignment today? What do we learn from today's story? Determine to explore all God's given potential in you. Begin to explore all God's given potential in you. Number two, make demand for unveiling and revealing God's potentials in you. You have to make a demand by revealing and unveiling God's given potentials in you. And thirdly, bring yourself to the constant worship of God's word. Constant worship of God's word. What else have we got to learn today? The word of God gives you light and understanding. Read the word of God daily and make use of it. Read the word of God daily and make use of it. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for anyone who wants to dedicate their life to Christ. I pray that today shall be a new beginning for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have heard the word like Jesus said. You have heard the word of God today. Begin a new chapter in your life. And if you want, you are ready to begin a new work in your life, can you say this prayer after me? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have dedicated my life totally to you today. I want to give my life totally to you, to serve you and to be your son or daughter in Jesus' name. Amen. I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. I don't want to go back into my sin again. I want you to use me for your work. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, I congratulate you. That you have done a very, you have made a very big decision in your life. One of the biggest decisions you have made in your life. And that will transform your life for the better. I have done that prayer before and he has done great and mighty things for me. I want you to go to a Bible-believing church and God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we round up today, I pray God Almighty that your spirit continue to be with us in jesus name and we continue to walk in your righteousness and to fulfill god's given talent god's given potentials in us in jesus mighty name of pray i hope you enjoy the rest of the month have a lovely week god bless you bye i'll see you next week the parable is this the seed is the word of god oh, oh yeah the sower is the preacher and the teacher he comes to sow the word of God in your life every day